I do it, they give me a point and they ask me for the six trigonometric functions. Oh, here's what we do. First, we need a point. What's your point? Three, six, like the mafia. What's that? That says X is three and Y is six. So we plot it sick. I do my tick marks and looks like my three, six is right there. Three on the X, six on the Y, then what? Then we draw that line that goes through it because that's what the direction said. And then what? Oh, our X is three and our Y is going to be 6, so we find our R, and we know that our R is X squared plus Y squared. That's R squared. I said, I'm going to put my X where my X goes, my Y where my Y goes, and then square them, add them, get 45. It's a problem of a different caliber. Now what? We take the square root of both sides. Does that root simplify? Sure it does. There's a 9 in there, so a 3 comes out of 5, stays in. Now let me make some room, because now I have my R. I put my R where it goes. Let me just bring that over here. So now that we're over here, I'm just going to resketch this. Put my R there, because now I want to find my six trigonometric functions. So our sine theta is y over r, which is six over three root five. I put my y where my y goes. I put my r where my r goes. Then i goes, and I reduce those. Arr, arr. I deduced, I reduced to reduce. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to rationalize that denominator. Root 5 over root 5. Knock, knock. Who dare? How do I multiply fractions? Straight across. And now my problem's looking like a T1 a taxi. Some of you guys know what that looks like. Okay. So then the cosine of theta is x over r, which is 3 over 3 root 5, which reduces and rationalizes to root 5 over 5. My tangent from previous page is y over x, which is 6 over 3 and a deuce. Let's go find the reciprocals. The reciprocal of the sine is the cosecant. That's my r over my y, which was 3 root 5 over 6. And then I reduce. It's a deuce. And before we say bye bye let's go find the secant. The secant is r over x, which is root or 3 root 5 over 3, we reduce, that's a 1, nobody writes it like that. It's root 5. Okay, so then the cotangent is x over y, which is 3 over 6, which is 1 half, and then i half. First time I saw this, I dropped things too. <laughs> Box and premature flower.